So hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. And if this is your first video of mine that you are watching today, hi, my name is Darylin with It's My Life Darylin, where I primarily bring you content regarding my cleaning business. One of my favorite things about cleaning is that you will find yourself needing to organize and I love organization. So I've been running this series for a while now and I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I just can't seem to get out of the closet. So I'm still in the closet ladies and gents, but I hope you've been enjoying it. So I came up with 20 hacks, if you will. And like I said, some of them are more like hacks and some of them are just great ideas. So let's get started. So one of the first things that most people probably do a lot is line the bags up on the overhead shelves. So if you have some shelves above your closet, you can just line them up overhead, nice and neat. Um, also, you can create cubbies inside your shelves. So if you have like shelving or bookcases, you can actually create cubbies with like dividers of some, of some sort. And we'll get into that a little bit later on, like the different type of dividers that you can come up with. Another one that I feel like is a hack is using shower curtain rods or shower curtain hooks, I'm sorry, the shower curtain hooks. And then you can get so elaborate because some shower curtain hooks are really, really cute. So they can add a little, you know, I don't know, elevate your hooks for your, your purses, right? So you try that, try some shower curtain hooks and hang them up in the closet and clip those bags on those shower curtain hooks. That would be a, one of the good ones, okay? Now, the next one I'm thinking about is hanging your purses on a mirror. Like if you have a floor length mirror and it's a standalone, you can get a few of your bags on the edges of your mirror. It gives your, it just adds a little bit of, you know, um, boutique feeling, if you will, displaying them. It's just a bit, another way to display your bags without them looking junky. Now we're not going to just throw them up there. We're going to strategically put them on the mirror. So, and especially that's great for someone who has, um, very limited space in a room and you just need some more creative ways to display and store your purses. Another way to um, store your bags and make them look real cute is the bag that you're carrying for the day or for the week. You can store it on top of an ottoman or some type of, like if you have a, um, a island or something in your closet, then you can put the bag of the day or the bag of the week on top of that space and it will look cute and you know that's the bag that you're carrying for the day or for the week. Another thing is to display your go-to bags on an open shelving because if they're on an open shelving where there's no, you know, wood or glass or doors, then that's easy access to your purses and they're very visible so that when you're getting dressed, you can look at what you have on. If you're not one of those people that prepare at night or for the week, then you can just get dressed because some people just get better dressed under pressure. I'm not one of those. I like to prepare at night, but if you're one of those people who like to prepare in the morning as you're walking out the door, if you have your purses in open shelving, then you can see, oh, I want this one, grab it. Oh, this look good with this outfit and you're out the door. So also you can use dividers for small bags. Any type of divider, you can use those acrylic uh, dividers. They're used for um, like mail or something. They have them in the office section. So you can get something like that, sit them on the shelf, and then all of your smaller bags, like your clutches, 
really tiny little bags. They can fit in those uh, dividers because a lot of times those smaller bags are really hard to sit upright. So that will be something that could not only make them look good, but they will sit upright. Um, we have to think about utilizing shelving under shelving um, that space under your shelf, like your bookcase. If you have a lot of space underneath the bookcase where you don't have a, a, a extra shelf, but there's like a lot of space there, you can actually take some hooks and hook them underneath the shelving. That's kind of like a sneaky way, if you will, to hang your bags up underneath the shelving and just utilize that entire, I want to call it a bookcase, but whatever it is, you have bookcase or shelving uh, system, utilize every aspect of that shelving system if you can. That is another great idea, I think. Let me know down in the comment what you think about the under shelving space. Um, use a shower curtain rod. Now, one thing about the shower curtain rod, you can hang it in the closet on the wall now, let me tell you a little bit of thing that's a, uh, that could kind of bother you a little bit about the sh uh, shower curtain rod is that, you know, once you hook it on the wall and screw it in, it's hard to slide the handles of your purse down the rod, if you will. But if it's um, one of those that sit right down, like if you have a, a rod, pretend this is a rod and this is the hook, the hook to the rod. Now, if you don't screw it to the wall, that hook, you can lift that rod up and slide your bags on. But let that be the, the, the uh, storage area for bags that you don't grab a lot. That way they're laying up there nice and neat. They're off the floor. They're not piled on top of one another and you don't grab them that often. Maybe they're your summer bags or your fall bags or your really dressy bags that you don't really grab that often, then put them on the shower curtain rod. That way you got them up and everything. And it's a really inexpensive way also to store your bags. Another hack is to use the magazine files for your clutches. Those little uh, foul little boxes, they come in acrylic, they come in like all types of fabric and colors. You can use those. And you can also turn them around where you're facing the outside of the uh, file box. And then the purses are not showing as much because they are facing the wall. So you could do something like that as well. Now, if you want a luxury way of, of storing your bags, then get yourself some type of cabinet. You know what? It could be a um, uh, what is it, what do they call it? The China cabinet. It could be a, um, hutch with doors and you could put the bags up there and then, Ooh, Ooh, if you had a hutch, Oh my God, that would be amazing because you will have that empty space where the, um, hutch and the counter of the hutch detaches. Oh my gosh. That's like a boutique heaven. And you know, for women, in most cases, the closet is the woman cave. That's where you go and sit down on the ottoman and think and talk and get your outfits together. You can put all of your bags on a hutch. And I know some of you older uh, viewers know what a hutch is, but if you're probably 35 and younger, you probably doesn't don't know what a hutch is. It's mostly used in kitchens. I'll put a picture up here for you so you can see what a hutch look like guys. But that is a great idea. You may be able to even find one at a Goodwill, but if you get one of those and put your purses on it, oh, that would look so good. So, so good. Now, another hack is to do baskets on the wall. You could do wire baskets, wicker baskets, and stuff your little purses on the wall, depending on how big the baskets are. You can put purses on the wall with that. You can use drawer dividers, like the drawer dividers that you use for like your, um, your undergarments, your t-shirts or something like that. The kitchen pot organizer, you can use those anywhere you want. They don't have to be just in the kitchen. Now you, another good hack is a coat rack. How many of you see coat racks 
utilize for something else other than coats? Well, Amazon purse hanger. This is a real thing, guys. Amazon purse hanger. So another one from the container store. You can go and get the um, storage boxes from the container store. You can also go somewhere like Target, Walmart, and just get regular hooks and put them on the wall and put your bags on the wall in the closet with just regular basic hooks. And that works also. Now you can also do something and you will get this item from Amazon as well. Um, is hang something on the door to hang your bags on the back side of your door and you can line your purses down the door. That's a good one as well because it's out of the way. It doesn't keep the door from opening and closing. So it works out really, really good. Now you can lastly, this is number 20 if you've been counting, is use some trays, just regular trays and line your bags or clutches really in your wallets in the tray. I love comments guys. So please leave them. Let's get some, you know, conversations going about the purses. But until then guys, we are at the end of this video and I will definitely see you guys on the next one.